I just got home from the annual Christmas party for work. Um, it's the first time uh, since we moved to Las Vegas in March that I got to go out and do anything fun. Um, my daughter's ideas and mine of fun are a little different, so sometimes it's hard to plan things that I'm going to enjoy too. <laughs> and often we do things that she likes that I don't necessarily care for. But it was nice to get out and be around other grown-ups, <laughs> people um, more my own age, and uh, you know, hang out and and uh, get to do, dance <laughs> a little bit. And, and I had straightened my hair before I left, but I was sweating from dancing, kind of kinked it back up again. Uh, but and then there was a raffle. And that's what I won. I actually won a second item as well, but I didn't know what it, to do with it. It was some sort of a, a football drink mixer thing. I don't watch football at all, and I certainly don't have any alcoholic beverages in my home. So um, I gave it to a friend <laughs> that said he could use it. So, but yeah, the the Ghirardelli chocolate there. I'll use that. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was nice to get out and finally, you know, have some fun, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, and on the, on the company's time <laughs> for the most part, you yeah. um, know, definitely, you know, where we went is someplace that I wouldn't normally ever get to step into because it's in it an expensive restaurant and, that, and of course I, I got my little yes I'm 21 thing here I haven't taken it off yet so um but it was nice to get out and like I said and just kind of relax and chill and and uh and let my hair down a bit and and uh you know, which I don't get to do very, very often. Very rare, like I said. Since we moved here in March, this is like the first time I've gotten to go do something really fun. Um, and um, But that doesn't mean I'm not trying to learn new things and uh, looking for ways to expand this, especially since, uh, you know, my daughter's diet started. Um, I found, like, this cheese bread that we can make online um uh, doug and stacy um, homestead homie and um and uh, she had said parchment paper well to use parchment paper under it well i thought that was the same as wax paper and maybe for those of you who are experienced kitchen people who are experienced cooks you automatically knew that those aren't the same thing but I didn't. I didn't know that that was, when she said parchment paper, I, like I said, I thought that was the same thing as wax paper. And um, and then I was really kind of frustrated the first time I made this cheese bread um, that um, how badly it stuck to the to the paper. And uh, it's because I had the wrong kind of paper, um, not the right time type for cooking anyway. Um, so, um, so I happened to be in the store the other day and I decided to take a look, a closer look at some things, you know, what's the difference between this and this and, and they are two different things and uh, one you can put in the oven and, and use, use it in place of, um, you know, having to, you know, use oil or spray on, on your pan and the the other I guess I just stick to using it the way I've been using it which is to help when I package um, meat to freeze in the freezer you know to separate you know like slices of whatever you know so that they're not all frozen together and that I can break off what I need easily because the wax paper is between them so but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm learning <laughs> and uh, it's interesting to learn some things sometimes and uh, go through the steps here of certain things and 
and my back's a little sore tonight and but of course it's usually a little sore every night and I guess that's just part of having arthritis um I have been suffering with back pain for years I just hadn't nobody had diagnosed it and I, I guess I just you know I hadn't had been able to go to a doctor because I couldn't afford to and I didn't have health insurance and um you know so um at one point when we were living in South Carolina, I bought a recliner for the living room because that was like the only thing that helped the back pain. I, I you know, I, I don't like to take a lot of um, even over the counter medicines. I don't I don't want to, you know, take a lot of Tylenol or, or ibuprofen or whatever, you know, to cope. So that's what I was doing to cope at that time with it. I don't have that recliner anymore. It didn't it didn't make it with me. I don't think it didn't make it to Utah. I didn't have room for it or whatever. And um but uh but this chair that I'm actually sitting in helps a lot because it's because it reclines. Um and I'm probably I'm probably using it more than it's intended to be used because it's more of an outdoor chair. It's technically as what they call a zero gravity chair, so it reclines very, very nicely. And um, sometimes I sleep in it. <laughs> you know, if I'm that much pain, I'm sleeping in it, and, and it's just, you know, like I said, it's not. I don't think it's meant to be used as much as I'm using it. Um, but until I can afford another recliner, oh well, you know, I just gotta cope with the best way I can. And I'm surprised the um, bed isn't aggravating as much as you might expect it to because it's not on a, it's not on an even surface. There are different size totes under it, <laughs> and uh, you know, and of course. It, so it's a it's a little lumpy and it's not so supported at that end. So I'm sleeping with my head at this end, and which I really don't like my head by the wall. But oh, um, so but that doesn't overly aggravate the back at least. And uh, yeah, so you know we're we're hanging out, we're doing okay. Um, Cherokee's sleeping, I guess, and she was out when I left for the party, and she's she she acknowledged with me when I came back home. She, I don't know if she thinks I just went to work or what, <laughs> but you know, I I didn't you know I I didn't feel it was an appropriate situation to take her to. So, if, if, you know, like the party there was last year in Utah was just a bowling alley. They took us bowling. Um, so for that one, I took her with me. Uh, but this one I didn't feel like was appropriate to take her to. So because there was a lot of people drinking and a lot of, a lot of drinking and, and more drinking. And they were some people were drinking quite a lot. Um, so... But but I still had a good time, and, and that's all that matters. And and uh, waiting for the Christmas season to be over. Oh my gosh! You know, Christmas um Christmas season might be fun for some people, but for some of us, it's uh it's the worst time of year. You know, uh, you're stuck listening to that cheerful music about it being the most wonderful time of the year and we're broke and barely paying bills and and like was a co-worker a superior co-worker asked how's the christmas shopping going and i'm like i don't get to christmas shop what, what are you talking about <laughs> we're we're you know christmas shopping is not in our budget you know some people have a budget that they can spend on christmas no we don't have a budget for Christmas because you know, we got to um, keep a roof over our head and things like that first. You know, so, you know, there's there's no budget for Christmas, you know. And that's just how it is for us. 
Um, oh well, yeah. If you're lucky enough to have a budget for Christmas, yeah, good for you. But yeah, some of us don't. All right. No, well, and but we're hanging in there, and we're okay, and you know we're surviving. And uh, we love everybody, and we miss everybody from back home, and it's. It's lonely sometimes. It's really lonely out here. Um, so. Peace.